can breathe through your nose. It's bust your nose. Oh no. Boy, is that. Jenny Eclair. Um, I'm 53 years old and I'm a writer and a stand up comic. The best bit of going clubbing used to start on a Wednesday to go out on a Saturday. <laughs> I'm looking forward to working with Tom. Very nice. Jenny is actually a much better diver than she gives herself credit for. I thought I was going to die. No, you are going to die. You'll be fine. From the low boards, she's actually really graceful. Excellent. But as soon as she's going higher, that's when it seems to be going wrong. Broken my thumb. Broken both legs in three places. I don't know why they're making me do this. I might not turn up on the day. <laughs> I'm sneaking off. I keep bunking off. I hid in the toilets for a bit. I've had little nits. Has anyone seen Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> We've still got a whole afternoon. Not me. Oh. I might not be able to get out. If Jenny spent a bit more time on the boards, I think she could do pretty well. Please. On the side! I have battered my legs. I've taken the bosom off. If I don't concentrate, then I really hurt myself. I felt like someone had attacked my front thighs with an iron bar. I know a good hiding place here, a very, very good hiding place. I'm on the 10 metre board. They'll never think of looking for me up here. Personally, I'd make this more of a triathlon, a dive, a bit of ping pong, finish off with a round of knitting. In here. <laughs> How's the knitting helped you get through it? Um, well, everybody's very keen on my knitting. The boys were desperate that I should knit them some trunks for this evening. And Tom has said he will dive in nothing else but my <laughs> hand-knitted trunks in 2016. In Rio, especially in Rio, yes. you definitely need knitted trunks. You've been fantastic in training. Are you at all <laughs> serious about this diving, though? Well, um, if I'd been very serious about it, I'd have probably lost some weight. The trouble is, I can sort of <laughs> deceive myself. I saw some clips of Pollyanna in training, and she was wearing a swimsuit a bit like mine, and I thought it was me. And I thought, <laughs> I don't look that bad. <laughs> but I looked quite good, and then I realised it was Pollyanna. And I saw a picture of me. I look like a small car. No, you don't. About to fall off a cliff. Fantastic. Jenny is going to be performing the forward pike fall from the five metre Come board. With me. Uh, not right now. Uh, <laughs> time for some more Tom action. He's going to show us how it should be done. Have a look at this. Form the perfect pike position at the end of the board with straight legs and locked hands. In the fall, straighten through to the crucial entry point. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Clare! Jenny was a star of Grumpy Old Women. I wonder if diving off the five metre board has cheered her up at all. Pretty doubtful. A good starting lineup. She aims too far out, meaning she comes up short on the entry. There's no hiding place now. Is Jenny Eclair in a sticky situation? Let's see what our judges think. Come on, Jenny. Straight forward, Shane. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'll be honest with you. I think it's one of the best I've seen you do. Let's see what the judges thought, Joe. Jenny, 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 you're an 
why are uh, women of a certain age, we have brittle bones, <laughs> stuff has fallen off, and so consequently we're quite scared. Yes. But I'd never have known. You look like a cheeky bouncing prawn. <laughs> you were absolutely marvellous. <laughs> and you're worth your visit here, if only for all the faces of terror you've made on behalf of everyone people. else. We are the people. They've nearly given me a heart attack <laughs> on a daily basis. Um, that was not my best dive. It was well, good, let's find out. Good. Let's find out what the judges thought. Let's it go was to you. Good. You've had such a tough time in what really is a really strong heat. And I'm watching in the training video, I'm watching you come in here with your bruises oh. and getting onto that board and then absolutely nailing that dive. I was really impressed. It was good, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Well, Jenny, after what you've been through, you're bruised head to toe. The easy option would be not to be up there or maybe be on the three metre. But you put your brave face on, you put your game face on, and that was a beautiful dive. Oh, to be honest, very kind. you just need a bit more confidence. Yeah. More confidence. Maybe a little bit of synchro training with our Joe, and you'd be up there with the rest. I've of lost them. a contact lens. We'll find it. Don't worry. We've got I a think frogman in the pool. He's getting my right now. <laughs> Let's get the scores, Andy. <laughs> it's an easy dive, but it was done very, very well. It's a seven for me. That's very good. Joe. Cool. Thank you. Um, for a combination of the dive and your hat, it's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, uh, it's a tough heat and it was a simple dive, so it's a 6.5. Thank you right, very thank much. All right, thank you, Neil. That's 21.5, the audience don't like it. That's the opinion of our judges only, but you might think differently. If you thought Jenny and Claire to make it look like a piece of cake, then vote for her using the numbers on your screen when the lines open a little later on when everyone's dive. For now, though, give her a big round of applause. Jenny and Claire! Well done, Jenny.